Hey Money Zen Bunny lovers, welcome back to the channel, Lorelai here. Now in my last poll when I asked you all what you wanted to see next, this was the most voted on topic. And it's a very popular question on Google as well, which is, do our rabbits miss us? Do they miss their owners? Do they recognize slash remember us? This was actually something I questioned myself when I first got Lennon. It's very clear that our rabbits do love us and share a special bond with humans. After all, they've been domesticated. However, it isn't quite clear whether our rabbits miss us when we're gone for extended periods of time. And I know this is especially important for those of us who go to school, go to work, travel frequently, etc. We want to make sure our bunnies are happy, safe, and not depressed or lonely while we're gone. So I'm going to address all of these issues in today's video. Before we get started, please smash that like button, subscribe, and hit that little bell to be notified every time we upload. So do rabbits miss their owners? Well, the big fat answer to this question is drum roll. Yes, they do. However, however, okay, I must emphasize there is nuance to this. We must not assign or project human behaviors or feelings onto our rabbits and especially that of other animals as well, including dogs or cats. Rabbits are a totally different species. And so yes, they definitely miss us, but not within the same definition that we as humans think of when we miss someone. So rabbits remember things by association rather than through episodic memory. So instead of remembering, for example, the time that you took them out, you know, you went somewhere with them, they're not gonna remember that specifically, but they're gonna remember, oh, okay, how did that car ride make me feel? Did that car ride give me anxiety? Because if that's the case, I don't want to get in that car. They're also going to associate you with treat giving. If you give them treats on a regular basis, they're going to remember that. They're going to associate you with that good feeling of receiving something that they like. As opposed to that one time you gave them a treat and this happened and that happened. So their memory works a little bit differently. They also can recognize your face, your scent, and your voice if they see it and hear it frequently enough. So through all this, rabbits can very much become attached to their owners. They're very routine oriented. And if they have a routine with you every single day and that routine becomes disrupted, they're absolutely gonna wonder where you went and they're gonna look for you and them missing you is further evidenced by their behavior there's actually a really beautiful video that Binny the bunny made a few years ago all credit goes to Binny and shy shy had gone away on a trip and then came back and Binny missed him so much that he just ran from across the room and recognized him immediately and gave him kisses everywhere. It was just such a great video. So if you haven't seen it, please check it out. If you've ever had to go pick up your bunny from their bunny sitter or bunny boarding, you'll notice your rabbit just surrenders to you. See, so if your bunny didn't remember who you were or didn't miss you, didn't want to be with you at all, they would actually be very resistant to going back home with you. You know, they would run away, hide, they won't let you pick them up, they'll be very suspicious of you. So there haven't been a lot of studies, unfortunately, conducted on the rabbit psychology. I don't know why, but there was one study conducted in the year 2000 called Can Rabbits Tell Humans Apart? When the rabbits were paired with a positive stimulus, in this case food, they were able to correctly identify slash remember later in the study which people they wanted to be with and which people were empty handed. Now you might think, oh, it just has to do with food. It's not just that because you also have to remember Bunnies won't just take food from anybody, right? You've got to earn their trust. And you've also got to socialize them throughout their life to become social rabbits. So what does a rabbit do when they miss you? 
When owners leave them for long periods of time, rabbits will often display a range of behaviors that can include thumping, pulling at their fur, chewing on their pen bars, chewing furniture, being destructive, over grooming themselves, or changes in their diet and toilet habits. Now, if there's a huge disruption in the rabbit's routine and they're very sad and depressed or stressed, they can absolutely stop eating and using the bathroom. So your rabbits can absolutely display separation anxiety just like dogs or cats, especially if they're bored or lonely and they don't have a lot going on. Now the nice thing, however, is rabbits are crepuscular and they're gonna sleep generally while we're gone throughout the day at school or at work, which is another reason why I think rabbits make the perfect pet because we don't really have to worry about them during those nine to five hours typically. Okay, so how do you get your rabbit to recognize you? So if you're kind of still learning how to bond with your bunny, or maybe you have a very skittish rabbit, you're not sure how they feel about you, you can teach them to recognize you, remember you, and associate you with good things the following ways. One is bunny playtime. And I've made plenty of videos on how to bond with your bunny, how to play with your bunny, how to stimulate your bunny. So I'm gonna link those in the I card, but you wanna make sure that you're allotting a certain amount of time to them every day to stimulate, to enrich their lives, to provide them with toys and things that are gonna make them happy. Next is bunny treat time. So this is going to be their favorite time, not going to lie. As long as you're not overloading them on the sugar, they're going to be very content with the treats and they're going to associate you with something that makes them feel good and feel safe. Bunny talk time. Okay, I can't emphasize enough how important talking to your rabbit is. I've mentioned this in plenty of videos. Rabbits recognize your voice and the tone of your voice. They can tell when you're excited. They can tell when you're angry. They're very instinctual and they can hear different pitch bends and tones, like I said. If you talk to them, they'll be able to get to know you a little bit better, but it's gonna make them feel less lonely and it's gonna stimulate them. You can also teach your rabbit commands, certain words. You can teach them to learn their name. And I've made a video on this, so I'll link that in the card and finally bunny affection time so ensure that you are giving your bunny love and pets and affection head rubs all of the good stuff because again they're going to associate you with that warm and fuzzy feeling and they're going to remember you for it so how do you make your bunny more comfortable and less lonely while you're gone so this is really important so the first way that you can do this is to get your bunny a partner I've talked about this before. Now, bunnies are social animals, and the nice thing about having a partner for your bunny, they understand each other's language. They keep each other company, they groom each other, they keep each other safe, and they keep each other busy. They can play with one another, they're gonna be less destructive, and they're gonna feel less lonely. The next way is to leave them with a piece of you. And by this, I mean something that's gonna remind them of you, like maybe a t-shirt or something that smells like you, a blanket or a stuffed animal that maybe you sleep with or something. That's really gonna help them feel a little less alone while you're gone. Now this so much doesn't apply to when you go to work and you leave them at home because your home's already gonna smell like you and remind them of you. It's more so applicable to going on a vacation. And if you have to leave your bunny with a bunny sitter or at a bunny boarding place, then it would very much be appropriate to leave your bunny with something that smells like you or sounds like you. If it's some kind of voice recording or something that you can leave with your bunny sitter. Like if you FaceTime your bunny or something while you're gone, like they're gonna hear your voice. Their ears are gonna perk up, I promise you. Number four, stick to a routine. So again, rabbits are very 
routine oriented, and any disruptions in that routine is gonna throw them off. It's gonna make them sad, depressed, or stressed. So if you feed your bunny at 8 a.m., make sure you do that every single day and let them get their sleep, you know, don't interrupt their nap time, etc. cetera. Okay, number five, get a bunny sitter or bunny boarder and make sure that they are bunny educated. I know this is hard. You know, we as bunny parents, we're a little bit limited in this resource because bunnies just aren't as common as dogs or cats. But I promise you, if you immerse yourself in the bunny community, you know, whether it's joining Facebook groups, volunteering at your local rabbit rescue, getting on Instagram, following other bunny accounts, you're gonna meet other bunny people in your area, I can promise you that. And it's important to really expand your community and the people you know, because if that means you're gonna be able to leave your bunny with a friend or someone who's knowledgeable in that department, then that's gonna be a big help to you. Now the next thing is to leave some kind of sound on for your bunny, and I don't mean something overly disruptive. So maybe you want to leave the TV on, maybe you want to play some classical music. Obviously keep it at a modest volume, you know, nothing deafening or anything like that. And finally, guys, get a pet cam, okay? If you're just going to work or school for the day, this is not really for a vacation because you can't leave your bunnies alone on a vacation. They're not self-sufficient. But if you're just going to work or you're going on an outing and you want to be able to monitor your bunny, get a pet cam, get one where you can talk to them through the microphone and they can hear your voice. Maybe you can get one that like spits out a treat at them. There's many different kinds on the market. Above all, you can make sure they're not getting into any trouble or mischief. That always makes me feel more comfortable when I can just watch Lennon on the camera while I'm away. All right, guys, so that's it for this video. Thanks for tuning in. If you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. And let me know in the comments below, do you think your rabbit misses you? I'd like to know. All right, we'll see you all soon. Bye.